so you're in the UFC now. Uh, what are the changes for you being in the UFC and coming from Strike Force? Um, obviously, this. I mean, this is huge. Uh, it's so cool to be a part of. Um, you know, it, UFC's been the goal since day one, and now that we're finally here, it, uh, we're excited and just honored to be here, and can't wait to fight Saturday. You were originally slated to fight Gonzaga. How has this changed your training camp, if in any way? Uh, training's the same, but obviously with Gonzaga, I mean, he's a bigger heavyweight, and he's a black belt in jiu-jitsu, so we're training a lot of jiu-jitsu and a lot of defenses. Um, not to underestimate Stipe's ground, but I don't think it's the same caliber as Gonzaga. But, and with, with Stipe, I know he's an athletic guy, um, he's a good wrestler and a good boxer, so I think it's going to be a different type of fight. Um, but uh, in a way, I think it's going to be tougher because he's young like me, he's undefeated, and we're both hungry, so uh, we're both going to go at it, and uh, it's going to be a good fight. Uh, you came, you're coming back from a year layoff, it's been a while, for your injury. Did you want to come back, well, originally because Zaga, did you want to come back with such a high-level opponent, or did the UFC basically say, this is it? Um, I was actually in Japan when they called, and, and they asked about it, and we thought it was a good fight. I mean. We didn't really second guess it. We were like, yeah, let's take it for sure. Um, I feel like I've had enough time off. Um, I've went through all my physical therapy, uh, had a good training camp, um, and I thought it was it was a, it was a good it was a good fight for me. Um, it was a big name, and it would have really catapulted me towards some of the bigger names in the UFC division. Um, obviously, that fell through, but uh, in a way, I think this this fight's going to be tougher, and I'm excited that my first fight is going to be an exciting fight back here. You're undefeated, and so is uh, Mayochik. How do you plan to go into this fight knowing that one of you is going to have to come out with a loss? <laughs> <laughs> Not going to be me. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, for me, that's always been a pressure. Um, I've been undefeated my, my whole MMA career. And you always go in thinking, like, ah, oh, I don't want to get lost this time. I can't get lost. Not so much like, oh, I don't want to get punched or, or hit. It's like, I don't want to get lost in my, in, my, in my win column or my loss column. But it's part of it, you know, and that's part of training and just being, keeping your hands up and just doing your thing in the, in the cage. And, uh, you know, we're really ready to this fight. Uh, I've been working a lot with Colin Oyama and Jeeva Santana, and we're ready to fight, and uh, I know my hand we raised. Jeff, uh, talk about your footwork. Do you think that in terms of the heavyweight division, do you have the best footwork in the entire division? Uh, I don't know about best, but uh, I think my footwork is really going to help out um, uh, with the heavyweight division. I mean, there's a lot of big heavyweights. Uh, but you're seeing that um, things start to change. I mean, those Santos is a smaller heavyweight, you know, uh, Stipe and I are smaller and, and more athletic guys. And so I think that's going to be the guys that are going to win, and not only in heavyweight but in all divisions, the guys that can move faster, that are faster, and uh, just more explosive. And uh, I think I've worked a lot of footwork with my Muay Thai background, and uh, you know, I'm ready for those big guys. Look at the uh, undercard, a lot of big names, former Ultimate Fighter winner, other veterans. This is your first fight in the UFC. You're promoted right to the main card, Memorial Day weekend. Talk about what that means to you, the faith the UFC is putting in you, and the, and, the, and the pressure kind of behind that, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a lot of pressure. I mean, not only that, I mean, for me, I, I've taken my time. Colin and I have taken our time in, in our, my career, and we didn't really jump ahead and say, I want to fight UFC, or uh, I want to get in right away. You know, I, I did my lower level fights, starting with King of the Cage, and, and put 11 fights on, on my record. and. And it took our time, so now that we're finally here, I'm excited. I mean, that was our point to get here, but it wasn't just to get here. We want to get here, win fights, and stay here. So, so there's pressure, but I love it. I mean, this is what it's for. I mean, I mean, it's entertainment business, and it's the top top organization in the sport. So, uh, the pressure is what, what I'm, I'm going after. You know. This is obviously your biggest exposure to, to date. For fans watching this who don't necessarily know who you are yet, what, what can we expect from this area? What, what do you expect to leave an impression? Uh, I definitely think uh, fans are going to see a, a fast, explosive heavyweight. Um, you know, and all my fights I've finished, um, it's going to be an exciting fight for sure. And, uh, you know, I, re I really think uh, the fans are, are really going to pay attention to our fight. You know, they don't really know our names uh, specifically, but uh, they'll know after the end of the night. You look at the pickup fight of the night bonuses specifically? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. I've been seeing the bar get like two back to back. and. And I mean, heavyweights can knock each other out. I mean, I'm sure a lot of these cards, a lot of these fights in this card are going to get finished, and uh, I'm hoping to get at least one. <laughs> did you see the uh, the Strike Force um, Grand Prix final? I did it. Oh, I was okay. actually busy training out of town, but I heard I heard Cormier did very well, and that's always the question: Do you, do you resent him for that, or do you think that should have been you? I was like, no, I'm happy for him. I mean, he was un we both were not supposed to win that, not even be in the tournament, and he won it, and so I think that's great for him. I'm sure we'll fight soon. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you guys. Thank you.